Welcome to US Golf TV, presented by Real Feel Golf Mats. In today's episode, we check out a training aid that keeps the wrist from breaking. Troy Klongerbo drops by to help us understand bounce in golf clubs, and how technology is teaching us new things about the game. Tips, terms, tech, and more. US Golf TV tees off right now. Thanks for watching US Golf TV, I'm Jamie Heggie. Inconsistency in chipping and pitching usually is the result of too much wrist movement. Many weekend golfers find themselves flipping the wrist or scooping the golf ball at impact, leaving players with unpredictable outcomes. The makers of the Impact Master address these issues with a training aid that fits into a fully functional wedge you can actually play. And Todd Kolb shows us how this product can give you the consistency your golf game might desperately need. Professional Todd Kolb here with another pro review and today I'm taking a look at a product called the Impact Master. Whenever I get a product in the mail looking for a review, there's a couple things that I'm always going to look for when I do an evaluation. And first of all, is does the training aid actually address an issue that I see a lot of golfers struggle with? Second, is it easy to use? And third and finally, is it of quality? Is it going to last? Let's kind of go through those things. First of all, the Impact Master really addresses primarily chipping and pitching. Now what it does is, is that a lot of golfers, when they're struggling, they tend to get real flippy with the wrist. They try to basically scoop the ball up in the air. Now when you use the Impact Master, because they've got the rod here on the end, the extension, if you do that, flip your wrist, you're going to feel it hit you in the side immediately. So you got great feedback. Also, when it comes to pitching, in pitching you want to have a little bit of rhythm a little bit of flow to it, okay? And the hips kind of turn, the body pivots a little bit. Now when you do that, when the stick is on here with the Impact Master, you're going to notice, okay, that the stick doesn't hit you if you've got a little bit of pivot and a little bit of rhythm to the motion. So I like it for those two reasons. Right away, it's addressing a couple things that I see a lot of golfers struggle with. We actually at our academy use it sometimes when we're working on the angles of the golf swing, whether it be the backswing or the downswing, it gives us some great feedback there as well. Now. Is it easy to use? Well, let me show you how easy it actually is. This is one of my favorite things about this product. I literally give it a couple twists and it pops out. All right, I'm ready to go. I can actually use this club. This particular one's got 56 degrees of loft, 12 degree, degrees of bounce. It's a great golf club. I could use it actually as part of my set in my bag. I want to put it back on, put it in there, give it a couple twists, and once again, I'm ready to go. The last thing that I'm looking for is quality, and I've already talked a little bit about that, the quality of the club. This is like a real golf club. This isn't plastic or anything like that. I could literally play with this golf club. I've had golfers hit shots with it on the golf course. So, And of course, the rod here at the end is of high quality. You saw how easy it twisted in and out. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. It's great sturdy, and there's no question it's going to last a long time. So if you struggle with your chipping, if you struggle with some of your pitching, or maybe even you need to work a little bit on the angles of your golf swing, all right, the Impact Master can help you with that. It's a quality product. It addresses a lot of issues that I see golfers struggle with. It's simple, it's easy to use, and it's a product that I'm going to recommend. Understanding bounce in your wedges can help you dictate not only your club selection, but also your shot selection. But how exactly do you determine wedge bounce? More importantly, what is wedge bounce and how does it affect your golf shot? Troy Klongerbo is here to help explain what bounce is and how you can determine the type of bounce you need for different shots. Hey golfers, Troy Klongerbo here with US Golf TV and today we're going to talk about course management and specifically managing the bounces in your wedge. Now if you don't know what the bounce is, it's essentially this back edge, this back flange you'll notice on the back of your club. And the measurement is the measure between the sole of the golf club and the leading edge and the ground and how they relate when the club is held in a vertical position. Now why is bounce important to you? It's a good question. Bounce is important to you because it has a huge, huge play and plays a huge role in the shots you're hitting around the green and into the green with your wedge shots. You'll notice that bounce varies anywhere from 4 to 14 degrees, typically in 2 degree increments, and can be found either on the bottom of the golf club, by where the degrees of the club is, on the back of the club in a, in a single digit, maybe a 10 or a 12, or it can even be found in the hosel sometimes. 
Now more bounce, the more bounce you have, it means it's going to be holding that leading edge further off the ground at impact. So if you're playing in softer conditions or longer grass or maybe your fairways are a little bit longer, you're going to want that more bounced to help you from chunking the ball and really reduce your margin for error. On the other side, when you have a low degree bounce club, you're going to be using that off hard pans. When maybe when you're playing off of a tight fairway or a really firm condition, like what the Tour Pros play on at the US Open, a lot of those guys will have a wedge around 4 degrees or even less so they can really hit those nip shots. Now if you play a high bounce golf club, that means it's going to be really hard for you to nip that shot because that bounce is there to help you in softer conditions, which also means it's going to make those shots off the hard pan a little bit harder for you to hit. So be sure to ask your Tour Pro or your PGA professional at your golf course, what bounce is going to be good for you? Experiment. Experiment with a 10, a 14, an 8, maybe even a 4 and see which wedges do I feel most comfortable with and which are going to help me save shots around the golf course. Bounce is a pretty important thing to understand and I think you guys should really dive in and really learn what helps you guys play the best golf. Hitting a slice in golf is such a common problem among golfers of all skill levels, yet there never seems to be a common cure to the troublesome shot. Have you ever thought that the information you've been given about the slice is just incorrect? Todd Kolb is back to help us understand why we continue to hit this ugly shot, and the best part is that it's probably not your fault. Hello golfing friends, PGA teaching professional Todd Kolb here again and I'm talking about one of my favorite topics, how to fix the slice. It drives us crazy, it keeps us away from playing the game. We're about to change that. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know this, that a lot of the old information, what I called incorrect information, we were taught years ago when we first entered the industry was wrong and because of that, we gave you a lot of old suggestions that just simply did not work. But here's the good news. With advancements in technology and learning, we now have new, or what we're gonna call correct information. So here's what I know now for 100% certainty, that the golf ball starts based on the face, and that the ball curves based on the path. Now, when you think about that, that is just the polar opposite of what we were initially taught. You'll notice the flip-flop here. So the first question you're gonna always ask yourself when you hit a golf shot is where did the ball start? Because that tells us the face, and then based on how the ball curves, that can tell us the path. So you might be asking yourself, how does this new information help me? What am I gonna do? Well, the good news is, is next time we visit this topic, I'm gonna share with you some simple suggestions that you can do that are gonna change that slice into a nice high draw. Coming up after the break, we see how technology is teaching us new things about the game, and later, some great tips on helping us head up on our driver. All this and much more when US Golf TV returns. I'm Todd Kolb with US Golf TV and today I'm here talking to Ron with Antigua and we're looking at women's clothing and we've visited many times before and you guys have been in this industry for a long time. Ron, I want you to give us a little bit about what, what we're going to see from Antigua this year specifically in the women's line. Well, the women's area is very, very important to us. Uh, in fact, over the last few years, part of our strategic ob objective has been to grow our women's business. We've done that not only by adding a lot of great product, but we've also added a number of LPGA stars to support that initiative, including Stacy Lewis, who is obviously one of the top players, if not the top player in the world, with uh, her Triple Crown win this last year. So we're, uh, we're having a great response to the line. What is it that makes, I mean, other than a great look and a great color, what is it that makes the product different? Because there are a lot of products that people can choose from, but what's, what makes it unique and different from a quality stand for, standpoint? Well, obviously there's a lot of great products in the market. I mean, that's the great part of our country is there's a lot of, lot of variety. But our design and development team do a great job in their due diligence, going out and searching out fabrication, um, making sure it fits, testing with our tour players. Uh, you know, a lot of different body types, making sure that we're, that we're fitting. Uh, for example, this particular style uh, in our women's line is called the Gem. And this is actually Stacy Lewis's favorite shirt. And it has that tremendous stretchability and form fitting. So when she's on the golf course, she can worry about her game and not worry about her clothing. Because yeah, you're, you're dealing with an athlete. I mean, this isn't, I mean, it's fashion, but it's also performance based. Absolutely. These half, you know, we're making clothing for people to play the game in. And so they, they have to work, they have to flow, and so far, so good, it's going well. For us, uh, the, the next frontier is an expansion 
in the mid-weight uh, and uh, lighter weight outerwear pieces, uh, longer sleeve pieces that are layering type pieces. We've done a lot of it over the last couple years, but that is an area that we see a lot of growth in. So we're, we're doing a lot of cool pieces this year um, that have had great response, and, and that's an area that, that we're focusing a lot of attention on. Well, when you're looking for women's clothing, obviously you're looking for something that looks good. Women, they want to have something that's comfortable. Also, there's something that performs. That's a great thing about Antigua. They've been in the game for, for a long, long time. They deal with some of the best players in the world. Uh, if you're looking for something you want to wear to the golf course and be able to perform in Antigua, something to certainly take a look at. The line looks great. I, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the next year's as well. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, for, thanks for having me. Welcome back to U.S. Golf TV, presented by Real Feel Golf Mats. Getting a better understanding of our games can always help us save strokes on the course. And in this segment of Teaching with Technology, Todd Kolb is back to show us how this Lightscope X2 Elite is keeping his academy on the leading edge of golf information. PGA professional Todd Kolb with another segment of Teaching with Technology. And today we're going to talk about one of the important things when it comes to maximizing distance off the tee. In a phrase we call smash factor. Now some of you might have heard of that phrase before. It's been around for a few years now. And Basically, what does smash factor mean? Well, there's an entire calculation that kind of deals with club head speed and ball speed and things like that that really, for the average golfer, are not really that important. What is important though is to understand that smash factor basically tells you how the quality of the shot. Did you hit the ball basically in the center of the club face? So as an example, 1.5, 1 1.5 smash factor is kind of an industry standard. That would tell us that we have maximized our distance. We've hit the ball in the center of the club face in the perfect spot to maximize our distance. So how does that really play into understanding how far we hit the golf ball? Well, in technology, I got a flight scope, so I use that. And it tells me exactly what the smash factor is of the student. So I've got two examples. The first example here, I had a club head speed of just over 102 miles an hour, but the smash factor was 1.49, almost perfect. I hit that golf ball almost in the exact sweet spot to maximize my distance. That ball carried over 265 yards in the air. The second one, actually had a higher swing speed, 103 miles, just over 103 miles an hour, so almost a mile and a half per hour faster, but the smash factor was only 1.45, okay? That ball only carried about 224 yards, so even though the second swing had more club head speed, the ball did not carry as far. So what does that mean for you, the average golfer? What that means is this, it's something all, in go all golf instructors say. If you wanna maximize distance, you gotta hit the golf ball in the center of the club face first, worry about speed second. Smash Factor allows us to do that. Technology like Flight Scopes gives us the resources to tell us exactly what our Smash Factor is. Coming up after the break, we take a look at a new way to get around the golf course, and later, getting the most out of our driver distance. Stay with us. U.S. Golf TV is back in just two minutes. I'm Todd Cole with U.S. Golf TV, and we're here at the PGA Merchandise Show here, and we're talking about golf, but we're also talking about having some fun at the golf course, which is one of the big things that we're trying to do in the game to grow the game is make the game more accessible, more fun. Your product is combining a lot of things that young people like to do, but also golf. Tell my viewers a little bit, of, first of all, about your company, where you guys are located, and kind of how you came up with this creative idea. Hey Todd, thank you. So this is the uh, Golf Skate Caddy and we're based in uh, Boca Raton, Florida. And this is the, uh, the building of about four years of development and uh, the business started as an electrical skateboard company, uh, building boards for extreme uh, sports enthusiasts. And what we had is we had uh, golf uh, golfers want more out of their electric skateboard and so they started to put golf bags on there with poles. And so we said, hey, they might have an interesting business here. So what we did is we started to develop the Golf Skate Caddy and we started to fit accessories that golfers need. We added seats, we added a cooler for drinks and beers and Gatorades. Uh, we, had, uh, we added carpet onto our electric skateboard so we could have uh, you know, golfers use golfing cleats. Golfers you know, today want to use cell phones and tablets and things so we had a, added a USB charger. Um, but what it is is a device that really helps uh, you know, uh, the game of golf but it, it uh, is faster, it's more fun, it attracts younger players to golf, and from a golf course point of view, it adds more revenue. 
And so let's get into a few of the features here because there's a lot of things going on here. As you were showing me earlier between the, uh, the, um, the shade and the umbrella and all the stuff. So give me kind of maybe three or four of the real highlights that are happening uh, with the product here. Yep, so you strap the bag onto the front. You've got a green ball here to hang on to, and, uh, and we use a remote control. It just feels more natural. So we, we're looking for that uh, snowboardy, surfing sort of feel of a golf course. Uh, it takes about one hole to get used to the feel and the turn, but the, uh, the product works by leaning like a skateboard, right? You pull on the trigger, it has ABS brakes, it has motors in the front and back, so it can go up very steep inclines and declines with a braking system that we've included. And uh, we've put as much safety into the unit as possible. But a really nice feature is the USB charger. Um, and then you put your, your, uh, you know, your iGolf app or your apps on there to, uh, you know, for your mapping and how far am I from the hole and things like that. And then the included seat on the back is used not to ride it, but while you're waiting for that shot, while you're waiting for the foursome in front, just gives you uh, an area to uh, rest your legs. Well, I tell you, we, we, anytime we come to the show, we're always looking for innovative things. And what I really like, Aaron, is, is that you're taking something here that's, that a lot of young people are doing. Skateboards, obviously, are popular with the younger people. You're applying it to golf. But also, it's a product that's been around for a while. Yep. The skateboard, you've been in that business for a long time, so you want something that's going to hold up. Great product. Obviously, you're having success. I don't think I need to tell you good luck, but I know we'll be seeing these out on the links. Thank you very much. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. It's now time for another Daily Divot, presented by The Prairie Secret. Many golfers can only dream of becoming a scratch golfer or a golfer that carries a handicap of zero. Unfortunately, a more realistic goal for golfers is bogey golf, which is a handicap of 18, meaning it takes 18 extra strokes over par to complete a round. In fact, roughly 80% of all golfers will never even achieve a handicap of 18 or lower. So if you aren't breaking 90, you have plenty of company. US Golf TV will be back shortly, so stay tuned. PGA professional Todd Kolb here, and we're at the PGA Merchandise Show. And already, I just met this guy, Dr. Bulge here, and I have already had a couple of good laughs. First of all, this is a pretty Thanks, exciting Todd. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, your product here and kind of how things are going for you so far. And I, and I appreciate, appreciate you asking. This is convert a hole, and this product theoretically converts a original hole into a 15-inch hole without putting a 15-inch hole in the ground. So my thinking is that uh, why reinvent the hole when you can convert it? As a non-golfer, I wanted something to help me play golf. So I went, okay, and basically I had my wife stand at the hole with her feet in a V, and then I put it into her feet, and then we were done, and the guys that were yelling us from behind, we went, okay, thanks, sorry. And then I went, well, why don't I just make one of these? So I made one. Most ideas, that's how they come from. They're simple ideas, but, but that they work. So you've got a variety of colors and different things like that. Tell us a little bit about the selection that's available. Yeah, we went with your basic white, and then we thought yellow would back that up. And then you got to have pink. And then my wife uh, says, uh, for some reason, she needed orange. So I went, okay. So tell us, so tell us people are interested, they're seeing this for the first time, or this first time they come, you know, it could be a golfer uh, who just wants one for himself, or maybe even it's a superintendent or course owner where are they going to find it? Right on the money. This is our launch point. So we have a website, which uh, is somewhere here on this thing, uh, convertahole.com. I'm selling them over the website units just to get it out there. That's not going to be my market. And I've, I've got to introduce myself to uh, distributors and things like that. I'll still be the manufacturer out of Roseville, California, which is over by Sacramento. And um, it's just the game's on. So it, we're going to follow the same patterns as everybody does. Not, we're not going to, why reinvent the hole? Yeah, that's exactly. And I like that tagline because golf at this point, we need innovative ways to get more people involved. The idea of a little bit of a larger hole is a concept that's catching on. What's great about this is, is that you can do that without digging up the green and making right. more work. Uh, Dr. Bull, just this has been one of my more interesting interviews. I'm not going to lie, but it's still a good product. <laughs> we can do it this way too. All right. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Hey, America. <laughs> Welcome back to U.S. Golf TV, presented by Real Feel Golf Mats. Unless you have professional caliber swing speed, chances are good that you should be hitting up on your driver. Technique requires more than just having a positive angle of attack. And in this edition of On the Lesson Tee. Todd Kolb is back in to get us swinging in the right direction, and it all starts with the proper setup.
I'm PGA professional Todd Cole with another segment of On The Lesson Tee. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to hit up on your driver, which is gonna definitely increase your distance. Now we all know from advancements in technology that when we hit up on the driver and we have a high launch with low spin, the ball travels and carries further and gives us more roll. But the question is, as a golfer, how do I do that without getting overly complicated? Well, one of the things that I like to tell all of my amateur golfers to do is to focus on what we call the hand path or the path of the hands, or sometimes we might call it the path of the handle. See, because when we focus on the hands, the hands are what actually control the golf club. So we use a simple phrase of swing an arc up to the right when you're hitting your shot. So what we do in this drill is we literally, we don't even use a golf club. We just take our hands, we start down by the right knee, and we just arc the hands up and to the right. And the key phrase there is up and to the right. Because when the hands track up, and when the hands track to the right, the club is gonna track up and to the right, and then therefore, you're gonna be able to hit up on your driver. So, if we wanna maximize distance, we gotta hit up on our driver. The focus on the path of the hands will help you do just that. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of US Golf TV. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter for engaging original content, free giveaways, in-depth product reviews, innovative golf tips, and more. We'll see you online at usgolftv.com or check out our YouTube channel for more great videos. For continuous golf news, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For US Golf TV, I'm Jamie Hagee. We'll see you next time. And one more thing about teaching with technology. High launch with low, sorry, that guy's gonna dump that thing in the back. Okay, let me see that again. Means that that leading, or that bounce behind the. Okay, I think I get it. No, just read it now. Oh! <laughs> Were you doing just the intro? <laughs> no, right now. Read it. No, seriously, read it. No, it doesn't. Technology will also do that. I was guessing from what I had said the last time. Um, usually you'll see a 10, 12, 14, and so on. And that sucked. Oh, okay.